the potential for IoT is huge as more and more people are looking at how do they connect devices to get the data they require. It's becoming a more mature market in New Zealand and there's coming more and more demand. Spark is looking at how we help customers connect more, be more profitable, be more sustainable. You know, it's about connecting people to things which really matter to them. Westpac Muscles, uh, it's a family business. My father started it back in the 60s um, from a little local fish shop. So this is a New Zealand green shell mussel. Its life cycle starts as mussel spat and it's transferred to the farms and it's seeded out. It's left there to grow on the line till they're about sort of 90 mil to 105 and that's the perfect mussel for the market. And that generally takes between 12 and 18 months to grow it out. So the whole cycle could take up to two years. Uh, so a typical farm is set up uh, with two screw anchors and then you've got a warp running up to a backbone line and then off those we have uh, culture rope that's dropped down and the mussels are seeded onto that culture rope and they can be anywhere from 6 to 10 metres deep. Each line will have approximately 25 to 30 tonne on it uh, of green, green shell mussels. Yeah, 95% of our production goes for export. The Adroit Data Boy is a live monitoring solution that we've, that we've designed uh, using Nixon's Data Boy's Libellium data controllers um, and in situ uh, sensor SONs. Um, we are measuring salinity and temperature. In situ SON is a high quality uh, sensor SON manufactured in the US. We use this for a particular uh, marine application because of its uh, long uh, maintenance cycle between four and six weeks. This is achieved by an integrated wiper in the SON that wipes every hour, as well as a copper guard to help with fouling. This helps reduce the maintenance cost and extends the life cycle of the equipment. The Libellium data logger then collects this data and sends it over the Spark Cat M1 network to our Adroit platform. Today we're utilising the Cat M1 network, so a network Spark's invested heavily in over the years. It allows over a cellular network to be able to capture data in real time uh, without any issues of coverage. When you get heavy rain, all the runoff comes into the ocean and then comes out through the farms and because mussels are, are filter feeders, they suck up anything that's in the water and we're testing for that. And there's a level set for human consumption. If it's reached, you stop harvesting. Currently what we mainly run off is um, rain gauges, which they could be 50 kilometres away from here. With the salinity boys in place, it measures, obviously measures the salinity and when that drops off, your, your bug counts tend to go higher, and, um, which affects the muscles and, and we're testing for that limit. We look at the salinity boy levels, it will trigger when it gets to a certain salinity, which will close the farm. The difference is running off um, rain gauge. If it's raining now in Coromandel, we're out here in the middle and it triggers, the area is closed, so this will automatically close and we could be closed for five days. Um, with a salinity boy, that, that trigger could come two days later and it could only close for two days. Yeah, having that live data gives us real-time harvesting and the vessel can be out on the farm harvesting right up to closure and then they stop. So it gives us more time to get that product in.